detectives. Two shootings hours apart are still being investigated with very few leads. Police don't think the two are related, but as Crime Stoppers reporter Kristen Flum explains, there's an urgency to solving the assault on North Locust Hill. Luckily, the victim in this case survived the shooting, but his injuries are so severe, he's not able to help investigators with information about what happened that day. That's why Lexington police detectives are turning to Crime Stoppers, hoping someone can come forward with the information they need. These crime scene photos show just how many bullet casings were found after the shooting in the 100 block of North Locust Hill Drive on a beautiful morning in late October. It's extremely reckless. I mean, they could have, were fortunate that there was only one victim from the incident. The amount of vehicles that were damaged, other apartments were struck, who knows, you know, it, people could have been seconds away from entering their car, walking out of the door of their apartment and just narrowly missed being hit by gunfire. Detective Kristen Klingshern says the victim was in his car when someone started firing shots across the parking lot, trying to avoid the barrage of bullets that victim ran to his apartment. They actually followed him to the apartment and fired multiple rounds through the doorway, uh, through the door itself of the apartment where it appears that they struck the victim. What's worse, say police, is who else was inside the unit? It appears that there were two young, um, very young children that reside in that apartment that were there when this incident occurred. So police are asking you to think back to that day and report anything that may help them come up with a suspect. Maybe a matter of they saw a car leaving the parking lot, you know, and they noticed that it seemed to be traveling at a high rate of speed, but don't connect the two until they see something like this and realize that that may have something to do with the shooting. Crime Stoppers is offering up to a $1,500 reward for information in this case. If you know anything about the shooting that happened on North Locust Hill on October 28th, call the tip line. In Lexington, Kristen Flum, Fox 56 News. If you're not comfortable calling the tip line, you can also use the encrypted p3tips.com website. Kentucky law prohibits police from tracing calls or online tips made to Crime Stoppers.